Chamberlain finding Woodcock for England. Ooh, Woodcock's fast, going straight to Roberto, and Renato coming in early on, and Shilton saving well there as Renato came in, a mistake of England's making, and it very nearly cost them a goal in the opening minute. They can be so dangerous from these sort of positions. Three men in the English wall, and Shilton busy lining it up. And then on the captain behind it, Aziz has gone in there and curled right in there, straight at the keeper. Well, Roberto's in there, Aziz is in there, but Duxbury was there too. Zenon playing it now for Tato. Will he chip it back in? He has. Oh, and Aziz missed the chance there. Zenon, and a great save by Shilton. Brazil's captain so close to putting his side into the lead with 10 minutes gone. And Shilton, not for the first time in the game here, saving superbly. A terrible miss kick, though, by Aziz. A fine piece of keeping by Shilton. Oh, Watson missed out. And Moses shot is wide of the goal. Leandro, oh, misunderstanding there. Here comes Chamberlain. Got the pace, he's got the support, and the support comes from Robson. And Robson going all the way to the byline, calling for a chip. Hately's there with a header and pushed away by keeper Roberto Costa. Good break there by England. Some lovely play by Robson, and that's what Mark Hately is in the side for to provide that option to get up well as he does here. And the keeper was happy to tip that one away. No foul play on, says the referee. Again, that cross curling in towards Roberto. Not inbound that time to Zenon. It turns very quickly when things don't go well, but it's still nil-nil, coming towards half-time. Hastley for England. That's a good ball there for Barnes. Now, can he take Leandro? John Barnes now. Might go all the way for England. Barnes. He scored. And England amazingly are into the lead. Right on half time. His first goal for England. And what a place to get it. John Barnes, that long, amazing dribble. And Barnes here in Rio has performed a miracle there what a sight that was just look at it again through the entire Brazilian defense with marvelous presence of mind goes round the keeper and England sensationally have just gone into the lead right on half time then on the captain at the moment is about two yards off the ball now is Wilkins going to drive it Robson going to drive it. Fenix going to chip it. And it just went over. Then on. Chamberlain through to Woodcock. Tried to hold off his man, but Ricardo was too strong for him. Pires for Brazil. England still holding on to 1 0. Sanson. Oh, now Renato! And Shilton saves! For once, Kenny Sansa was beaten, but Peter Shilton wasn't. And Renato had a glorious chance there to make the equaliser for Brazil. There was the slip by Sansa. Renato now on his way onto the left foot, and Shilton down in a flash. Wilkins, oh, nasty challenge there by Renato, a free kick to England. Wilkins with it. Woodcock making himself available. Pierce there with him. Barnes also available. And he got his cross in well. And another one! And Hayley has made it too! And Barnes provided that one.
Ran on. Renato for Brazil. Ronaldo. Renato. Just outside the English penalty area. And Robson gets it away. I gather you got pictures back and it's a good moment to get them back. As England in with a chance of getting another one. And Woodcock in the end forced away. As Brazil were stretching forward in some confusion now. Woodcock on his way. But in the end he's foiled and the shot goes wide. Junior. But again, Brazil just can't get a move going together. But now maybe they can. Played in once more. Watson was there. And Junior now. And again, Peter Shorten is there to save England. When suddenly it looks as though they might get in. Five minutes left. Well, who would have thought? And I should think Mark Hakeley was one of the last to think a few months ago that he'd be playing for England here in the Maracanã Stadium. Least of all that he'd score and seemingly help England on to a victory. But here's another chance now as Robson goes right through and it's just wide of the post. Very close, England's captain for making it number three. Let's go over to Jimmy Greaves. Jimmy, just evaluate that result for us. Well, it's one of the great England wins. It's got to be. You cannot go to a place like the Maracanã in front of 150,000 people against any Brazilian team. Admittedly, I think they were a very poor Brazilian team. But taking all that aside, it goes down as one of the great wins of uh, all time. Ian, Bobby Robson has had a terrific amount of criticism. He yeah. said over there he was going to keep his nerve. He expected uh -huh. the players to keep their nerves as well. What's your evaluation of Bobby Robson tonight? Well, I think Bobby Robson, uh, obviously, as, as Brian was saying, will be a delighted man tonight. And I'm, I'm delighted for him because I know the pressure that he's been under. He's stuck to his guns. He's played what he wanted to play, which is an attack in formation. And he's been slated the press for doing that. But I think tonight it's been justified. Now, I know that as Jimmy said, the Brazilians weren't the best. And I think, Jimmy, you know, with the wingers there, it, it may be a point of the yeah. future. Well, what we've got to do now, Ian, is, is justify that win, yeah. isn't it? So too many times in the past we've gone and, and uh, won in sensational way, only to be let down That's by right. uh, future results. And what we've got to do now, Jim, is say, right, we, let's build on this win. Mm. Could this mm. be the start of something? Very quick yeah. comment from you, Jimmy, about the young players, Watson and Hately. They all played super. I mean, you can't criticise England on a night like tonight, Jim. No, you can't. No, it's all. It's 10 out of 10, Jim, for everybody tonight.